Signature abilities are always pretty cool to see in Megami Tensei. From iconic ones like Alice's Die For Me to slightly sillier ones like Mara's Maralagidine. However, there's always something a little extra cool about seeing your protagonist having the signature moves, and the Nahabino had quite a few of them up those androgynous sleeves of his. Shin Megami Tensei 5 is a game that people are pretty divided on, but I think one aspect we can all agree upon is that Nahobino had some pretty stylish signature moves. And now that we've gotten news of more SMT5 coming our way, I think it's time I take a look at them. So consider this my ranking of Nahobino's signature moves from Shin Megami Tensei 5. I'll be ranking them from what I consider worst to best based on a variety of factors, like how useful I think the move is, to how cool the animation for it happens to be. Also, just to clarify, I know technically the moves Nahobino gets from the Demi-Fiend Essence are signature moves, but I'm not including those on this list. I really see those less as his moves and more Demi-Fiend's moves that he's allowed to use. So, I guess technically you could argue this is more of an Aogami signature moves list, but let's be real, that just doesn't sound as cool. And hey, that still leaves us with 11 moves to look at, so let's get started. There are times when lowering the amount of damage your enemy does can be the difference between life and death, so having a barrier spell like Kanabi Veil can be great. For a while, at least, eventually you just gain better buffs and debuffs, so this move quickly becomes less vital. Plus, it's hardly the most visually pleasing move, what with Nahobino tossing a bubble of saran wrap around everybody. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that a move that can fully revive and automatically summon a dead demon isn't useful, especially when your back is up against the wall but Revival Chant is just not that visually interesting. At least Casey's Chant is pretty fun, though. You don't really get too many moves that make the Nahobino seem sinister, but I like the vibes that Profane Land gives off. It's the only dark-based spell on this list, and I'm always a fan of adding the poison element to things. Unfortunately, I have it this low on the list because it's really just not all that useful. If you got it earlier in the game or it dealt piercing dark damage, there'd be a lot better real estate in these profaned lands. Ruinous Thunder is, again, cool, but not all that useful. There's no denying how awesome it is to see Nahobino summoning that lightning bolt straight from the clouds above down onto the head of a doomed opponent, but, I mean, you know, it's just kind of provided that that opponent isn't immune to electricity. Sakanagi is a tough one for me because this is undoubtedly a really cool and useful ability. It deals almighty damage, and it relies on Nahobino's strength stat over his magic. This move can be a lifesaver, depending on your build, and I know I relied on it quite a bit. Sakanagi has saved my bacon in this game quite a few times, but at the same time, pretty much everything it does, we will see done better by the end of this video, and the move just doesn't have the visual flair to help boost it much higher. Divine Arrowfall is essentially just a really dramatic Megidola that costs half as much SP. Heavy Almighty damage to all foes is undoubtedly useful, and it does look pretty cool, but it's just not quite good enough for me to put it into the top five. Many of you may argue that Miracle Water doesn't deserve to be in the top five, but I don't care. This is my list. Yes, Miracle Water is not that good of a healing spell. Yes, it will very quickly become outdated. Yes, I really, really wish there was a better, stronger version of it. But look, this is seriously one of my favorite animations in this entire game. Honestly, if I was going only by coolness of animations, this might actually be my number one. 
Aramasa is one of the first skills you get, and it's a great way to showcase what this protagonist is capable of. I mean, it's practically your own version of Yoshitsune's legendary Hasotobi. You get it so early in the game, and it costs so little to use, I see this move as a staple of almost any player's early arsenal. Plus, yeah, it looks cool as heck, too. Severe, Almighty, Damage. Murakumo is easily one of the strongest and most useful abilities you can get. Sure, the SP cost on this one is steep, but everything from its raw power, visual appeal, and straight-up usefulness has this move blowing the previously mentioned Sakanagi right out of the water. Oh, speaking of which... Look, I like water, okay? I already went over this with Miracle Water. I truly wish the franchise would bring back the Aqua spells. Thalassic Calamity is an ice-based move that can hit random foes up to seven times. Admittedly, it's not the most powerful, far from it, but the ocean heeds his call. It's a giant tidal wave that rains down on your foes. And look, I don't care. I love this move. And at number one, come on, Wrath Tempest is like the move we tend to associate with the Nahobino. From the iconic finger poses to the swirling vortex of physical based death, this is essentially an upgraded Aramasa, which makes it incredibly useful. It's powerful, it looks cool, and it is so iconic to the character. If you tell me Nahobino's signature move, even though he's got 10 others that we've already discussed, this is the one that comes to mind for me. It's well worth the top spot here and well worth having. Also, just throwing this out, if Nahobino had gotten into Smash Bros, come on, this totally would have been his final Smash. Alright, and there you have it, the 11 signature moves of the Nahobino from worst to best, at least in my opinion. If you disagreed with any of my choices, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. What would your number one choice have been? Of course, based on everything we just saw from that Shin Megami Tensei Vengeance trailer, it's very possible that he's gonna have some brand new unique abilities to use in this upcoming title. But I think that's going to wrap up today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing to see more Megami Tensei related content. And until next time, take care.